Hiya, I'm uh, Lee from Brim the Horizon and uh, this is my Epiphone Les Paul Custom. I've, well, I've always wanted to play Gibson. I, I used quite a lot of guitars and then finally got round. I met Gibson at Download Festival the first time I played it and uh, played a couple of guitars and was like lucky enough for them to like start working with me and stuff. So played Gibson for a while. They gave me like some guitars and stuff and then uh, got talking to Epiphone and uh, they just thought it'd be cool to do like a custom. So basically just went from there. Yeah, basically they just said to me um, I could do what I wanted. So I chose like the, the body weight, the, just everything really. So I like looked at some guitars I liked, like basically based it on the Gibson Artisan, which is like a guitar I really like. And then uh, obviously, but for more affordable price than 3000 pound, but then just stuff like put like a really quite a hot humbucker in it, which they like built for me. They modded a pickup that uh, I liked. And then they put a P90, Gibson P90 in the neck. So it's got like, you can play heavy stuff, then you can play really nice cleans on it. It's got a coil tap as well, which just fell off. Uh, yeah, it's just, I don't know, it's a really solid, good guitar. It's got a really nice weight. It's not like chambered or anything. So it's feels really solid, like a nice neck to play and stuff. And I just like, like um, more like classical looking guitars. Like, uh, I don't know, I wanted it to look like a piece of like furniture, like that's really nice to look at. And I'm not really into like pointed bits and trying to make it look metal. So I just wanted it to look appealing to like anyone who played guitar would like that guitar, I hope. Like, like I was saying earlier, like the Gibson Artisan, which I based it on, they had these inlays and um, Epiphone got hold of like the original artist from the 70s, I think, and got him to like redraw them and resend them and stuff. So the guy who did the Artisan inlays did these and stuff as well. So it's like, it's pretty insane that he even did that. So like, I'm pretty psyched at that. It's pretty crazy. Like I've, I've had like a, someone made me a custom before, but it's like a one off and then but to go to like a company like Epiphone, which you have, I've known about all the time I've been playing guitar and they've like built me one that's going to come out in shops and stuff is, it's like a privilege. Like, I don't know, there's a lot of good guitarists out there that could have had this, but for some reason they chose me to do it. So it's pretty good. It's pretty like uh, amazing. There's no point doing a Gibson that people can't afford. Like, like the Zach Wilde guitar, like he made the Gibson and then he made the like, Epiphone and stuff and they were just like, a lot of our fans are fairly young and uh, not got two grand laying about to buy like a custom Gibson so it made sense to make a guitar that's affordable but really good as well like I play this live and it is a really, like I wouldn't play it if it was not good and I really love it so it's cool.